Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this evening, we're going to be doing a take part service on a, a reel that I haven't worked on before. So this is a, a Eagle Claw spinning reel, an Eagle Claw Mach uh, 3. Uh, it's actually a beautiful reel, and I would actually say that it's uh, brand new. I don't think this reel has ever been fished once, uh, from what I can tell. There's not a scratch or a ding or a nick or anything on it. Uh, from what I can see here, but we want to take it apart. We want to see what this reel is about, and uh, and and just learn a little bit about the mechanics of it. You know, it's it, it's a beautiful reel. It's a lightweight reel. I'd say it's got it's made out of some kind of graphite. Uh, it does, yeah, graphite titanium uh, spool. It looks like here. Uh, the handle. It, it's actually got this wooden grain handle here, but it's actually made out of some kind of plastic. Um, you know, but. Um, so yeah, you know, let's uh, let's get into it and let's see what it's about. So we got a side cap here. It looks like a screw that comes out. And uh, make note that there is this uh, like Teflon-like washer here that just kind of came off here. I'm going to keep that on there so we don't lose that. Okay. And then you should be able to pull your handle off here. But yeah, I like the fact that it's clean because then that way I shouldn't have to spend a lot of time cleaning. Uh, the last uh, reel I, I was working on, it was just, uh, it, it was very, very, very dirty. It was just in terrible shape. And uh, I had to spend so much time cleaning it that it, it kind of took a lot of the fun out of, you know, doing the service on it really. So, but so Eagle Claw, you know, they're a company that's been around a long, long time. Uh, you know, a lot of us know them for uh, their, their, the standards that they've made in the fishing industry with their fishing hooks, uh, you know, bait holder hooks and whatnot. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've been buying their products for years and years and years, and I've, I've probably bought more hooks that they make more than any other uh, fishing tackle. But, you know, they make fishing weights reels, rods, you name it, you know, they're, they're an all around company and they make a lot of, a lot of different kinds of, of, of equipment. I would say that Eagle Claw, uh, you know, they, they make equipment that, that is of good quality, not necessarily top, uh, you know, shelf type quality, uh, you know, but, uh, reliable, I would say. Um, and so, uh, you know, we've got a ball bearing right here, it looks like, and it looks like it's in beautiful shape as it should be. All right, so we're going to put that off to the side. And then, you know, we're just going to have a look here at these mechanics here, you know. So we've got, you know, a, a very, very dry main gear, okay, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's like I said, I think this is a, a new fishing reel. I don't think it's ever really been fished. It's probably just been spun around a few times and that's basically it, you know. So, you know, but, you know, the mechanics here are, are pretty clean though. And, uh, you know, the way that this all goes together. Now make note, you've got this, this clicker tab here that has a tendency to fall out of a lot of these rear drag reels. And it sets down here on top of this tab here that sticks out. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you don't lose that and remember to put it back, uh, you know, after you uh, disassemble the drag. I'm going to take the spool off here too, just for good measure, put that off to the side. Okay, so uh, at this point we've got a screw down here, a set screw that needs to come out in order to get this capture clip off the, the main shaft here, okay, axle shaft if you will. Okay, so this should pop up like that. Okay, axle shaft should come out. All right, and it looks like, uh, yeah, you know, there's some old grease uh, built up on here. You know, we're going to clean off all that, that old grease. Yeah, very dry on the inside, though, I would say, as far as these things go. But that's okay. That's, that's part of the reason why we're doing this. Now, I'm seeing right here, make note, there is a brass bushing on this knob right here on the crosswind gear, you wanna make sure you do not lose that brass bushing, okay? Because then it'll create a, um, a gap in there that you're not gonna want uh, with the uh, crosswind block, you know, when it you know, goes back and forth and oscillating in there, okay? So just make a note of that brass bushing, don't lose that piece, okay? All right, so we've got 
crosswind block there, or the uh, crosswind gear, I mean. All right now, there's a, a plastic bushing right here that just kind of popped out on us. We're going to take that out just for good measure uh, because we've got a lot of old grease and stuff built up in here, and we want to get that out. All right now, uh, we've also got some old grease on top here, kind of old black grease. Okay, and we want to get that uh, that nut off, and I'm not sure what size that is. Might be a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, so that's a 12 millimeter nut. Okay, so you could do this with a 12 mil uh, socket or nut driver. I'm just doing it with a wrench. Okay. So there's our, our rotor assembly, and as you can see, we got parts flying off on us already. So it looks like this uh, was resting on top of the uh, the bearing right here, okay, right there, right? And that has a tendency to happen is, is sometimes there's washers and they get stuck underneath the rotor, okay? But yeah, this, this reel is brand new. I mean, there's just, there's no sign of any use whatsoever. This has been sitting somewhere for a long time now. You know, this reel is probably an 80s vintage reel, I would say. Uh, so, you know, it's a pretty good find. I found both this and a Fenwick uh, reel, which is actually very quite similar. And uh, they're both made in Korea, probably both made by the same manufacturer. Uh, I actually did a separate video on that particular topic when I bought these reels. Uh, and I'm going to have to learn more about who actually made them one of these days. Uh, or who made who, basically. If it was Eagle Claw that made the Fenwick or the other way around, I'm not sure. But So we've got three screws here, it looks like, that we're going to take out. I like to keep these parts trays around, of course. Very handy to have. anytime you're working with all these small parts, but make note of the orientation of these parts, okay? Because they need to go back exactly the way that they were. In this case, I don't think you can mess this up because of the way they've made this, uh, this housing here, so that's good, okay? But we've got that washer that was resting in there, and then we've got our pinion gear, and it would appear that there's a little song and dance that we have to do here to make this come out potentially. So we're, we're just going to take our time here and see, but it looks like, from what I can tell, this assembly is kind of all pressed together, more or less, and it might be a little difficult to take out. Yeah, so a lot of the times what you have to do in this situation is, is you kind of have to snap these two pieces apart here. So you've got this, this bushing, you got the pinion gear, and then you got this bushing that rests on top of it. Okay, there it is there. Okay, and what this does is this is part of the uh, anti-reverse uh, mechanism here, and this tab needs to be able to hit that lever, okay, when it's engaged, all right? So, again, just make note of the orientation, but sometimes these pieces, they're kind of snapped on uh, tight, and in this case, you know, this reel's never been serviced before, so it kind of makes sense that it was having a hard time kind of, you know, coming off and whatnot, all right? So now we've got our drag stack, rear drag reel, okay? You got a screw down here that you need to undo. So, you know, we're just laying out all the pieces and parts, right? You know, and we're getting a sense of what, uh, you know, does what and, and what goes where. All right, so here we've got a, a snap ring assembly here. And these all work a little differently sometimes, in my experience. And sometimes you have to work them a little bit more than others certain models but there's there's this uh, snap ring that you have to you have to work out basically all 
sometimes you need the help of another tool to do this just to get that snap ring out like so okay but once you have that out then you can gain access to uh, your drag stack okay but you got to get that ring out first all right it's kind of hard to see all right but that comes out first all right and then you can start undoing the rest of your stack okay and we're going to see what we have here okay so there's a, a metal washer that rests on top here okay so we're just going to leave that there and then we've got a few other pieces and parts here we've got a spring that comes out and then at this point i like to take a pair of needle nose pliers usually and just pull out the rest of the stack all together all right and that's your drag stack all right just use caution when you're doing this okay but that is the whole uh, reel right there in a nutshell Make note of the orientation of these washers. They have to go back exactly the way that they they uh, came out. You can't. Uh, you don't want to be mixing up the uh, the sequence uh, per se. Okay. So I'm just going to go like this here, basically. But we've got a. There's a keyed washer. It looks like here. And then drag washer and of course you know all these pieces and parts are in great shape i'm going to move all these over to the side here for now got a metal washer yeah unfortunately these have been there for so long that they're a little hard to take apart like this one for instance but still usable but you can see there's just a little bit of the, the they get stuck on here is what happens and they need to be cleaned and kind of revived a little bit sometimes it helps to take a razor blade knife because it's a nice thin and sharp surface and just be careful okay like that okay keyed washer a drag washer and then you got a teflon washer here on the bottom here okay but that's your drag stack okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take our time uh and uh, we're going to clean up all these parts i'm not going to do that on video i've got plenty of other videos that you can check out on tips and tricks uh, but you know i'm just going to run you through it right now we're going to take some penetrating oil and we're going to hose down all these pieces and parts with that penetrating lube okay and let that work its way in and do some magic on these parts uh you know it's really about cleaning right it's about cleaning off all the old grime um and any um you know uh, not the case in this reel but you know if there's rust or any corrosion or anything like that you know you want to get all that uh, out there now these ball bearings now these are exposed ball bearings all right meaning that there's no protective plates or anything like that we want to hose these down gently with that penetrating lube as well okay as well as this one here and we'll probably just tap this one out uh and i can already see there's actually some old old grease uh, right here that's all kind of built up you know and it's starting to kind of turn into almost like a wax almost okay um, i like to call that the waxing effect of uh, of old fishing reel grease usually um, because it it just it hardens and it becomes difficult you know to work with essentially so um, you know we're just gonna hose down these pieces here they're relatively clean all right drag stack you don't want to do that with okay you don't want any uh, contaminants or oils or anything like that now in here i'm probably not going to spray down too much of this because it's actually quite clean but i am going to be taking some time with some q-tips and just taking out all this old grease that's in here essentially like that all right and that's really all you need to do and we are going to come back uh, with all these pieces uh, and parts cleaned up and then we're going to get into the uh, reassembly we're going to get this reel uh, ready to go back out and uh, and do some fishing so thanks again for watching this is tony with back on the bench if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more please do subscribe make sure you hit the notification button that way you will be getting updates as to when there are new videos coming out and there will be 
many more videos coming out in the days, weeks, and months to follow. So we'll see you next time.